Hi everyone, welcome back to the second part of the Jaguar restoration and respray. Let's get started. Just a quick recap. Last time we featured this Jaguar XF which had minor dents and scratches all over the bumpers and the fenders and we highlighted the areas in the previous episode and right now we're going to get on with the business of correcting all this. Welcome. We start off with the panel beating process once we have removed all the sensitive fixtures like the rear lights. As for the fender and the bumper of this vehicle which have deep scratches, we are using a scraper to remove all the underlying paint so that you can expose the metal for better treatment during the restoration process. After all the scraping, we start by applying fiber filler on the deep scratches at the underside of the vehicle's bumper. When the scraping process is done, filler is applied to all the scraped areas and sandpapered until we get a smooth finish. This process can take hours or days at a time. You will notice that there are areas with green tape. This is to protect the lights and the chrome during the sandpapering process. After the sandpapering process, we apply primer to the vehicle surfaces and this is to ensure that the paint adheres to the metal panels during the final process. After the first primer stage, more sandpapering is done to completely smoothen the primer and other levels of the first sandpapering process before we do a second stage of primer. This process also takes a lot of time and this is to ensure a smoother surface. After the primer stage, we are covering all the chrome lights and windows before the undercoat stage begins. During the undercoat stage, the first coat of paint is applied to the affected area. Thanks for watching this episode. Stay tuned for the third and final episode of the Jaguar restoration process here at Hodgins Motors Garage.